More than 5 million people visit the San Diego Zoo and Safari Park every year, making them among our region's biggest attractions. But they've been forced to close under stay-at-home orders. News 8's Shannon Handy has more on a new campaign aimed at helping the parks, including their animals and staff. Both the San Diego Zoo as well as Safari Park have been closed for more than a month. Like many businesses, officials here never anticipated the closures would go on for this long, which is why they're asking for help. It's an eerie sight to see the outside of one of San Diego's most popular destinations empty. But inside, the animals are still there. So we're employees working daily to care for them. It takes a lot of money. It takes a lot of resources to care for these animals to the way that we do. Sean Dixon, the chief operating officer for San Diego Zoo Global, admits it's been tough. Between the two properties, there are 6,500 animals to watch over, 700,000 exotic plants, several facilities to clean, and ongoing global conservation projects. Without guests, funds have been limited. We're a nonprofit organization, so we survive off the community, bringing money in, our donors, our members. Which is why they're launching a critical needs campaign in hopes of generating donations either online or by mail. In addition, our local congressional leader sent this letter to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy asking them to include zoos, aquariums and museums in upcoming COVID-19 economic relief legislation. Specifically, they want to be included in the federal government's Paycheck Protection Program, $1 billion allocated to help support zoos, aquariums and museums suffering nationwide and an expansion of a universal charitable deduction provision in the CARES Act by removing the $300 cap so larger donations are also tax deductible. Each and every day we look at how do we care for this organization that's 103 years old and has been a part of this city and community for many decades. For now, only essential employees are working. The others have been furloughed, though they are getting paid through Sunday. Dixon says rest assured the animals are happy and healthy with new ones still being born. And plans are underway to hopefully reopen soon. We're here for the community. We will be here for the community. And we ask for your help in donating. No word yet on when the zoo or safari park will reopen. If you would like to contribute, we put the information on our website. Just go to cbs8.com and click on the hot button.